sweet by and by. Over to one. Shine in our hearts 
to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Yeah. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body and the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Yeah. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Right. We having the same spirit of faith according as, as, as it is written, I believed, and therefore I have spoken. We also believe, and therefore speak, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus, Amen. and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God, for which cause we faint not, but Though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed, renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Now, one, one thing uh, in verse 5, it says, For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants, for Jesus' sake. We preach not ourselves, but Jesus Christ. Yeah. And that's very important, because if we preach ourselves, we're, we're really preaching much of nothing, wow. because we are nothing. Wow. Jesus is the life, the, the eternal salvation, the hope of everybody. And uh, it'd be foolish to preach ourselves not Christ. It says, For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are the earthen vessels um, that have this treasure of Christ and we're to put out Christ. It says uh, we are troubled on every side yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair, persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. No matter what uh, uh, what faith, what fate uh, goes against us, whether it be the world who's uh, trying to knock us down. Um, no matter what happens, we are to just give out Christ. And uh, it's like whether we were sad or uh, persecuted, or perplexed, uh, distressed, whatever. Um, all we have to do is just mouth out the Lord Jesus Christ to the world. And uh, hopefully something will happen. <laughs> Let's all stand. Brother TJ, would you dismiss his track classes? Lord, we never we thank you, God, for we have the work to depend upon and guide and direct us and to follow and carry us through each day. And we know we're fond of it is truth, and if we read your word, God, that it will allow to work within us. We'll walk in the steps of Christ. For your work is Christ. And we thank you, dear God, that we have it. Please, Father, bless the many that are sick and afflicted. Help us to 
God always prayed for them to do whatever we can. God, especially those that are lost, we need to the word today to speak out to the Lord that others might hear and have faith and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior. Forgive us for what we tell you in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.